Jetzt ein Bier noch an der Theke, ein letztes Lied aus voller Kehle. Viel zu schief ohne Musik und viel zu laut. Lass doch schnell noch eine nehmen und dann gehen wir unsere Wege. Ja, wir schießen uns die letzten Lichter aus. Und jetzt hat er...
Ich weiß, es wird besser, ich weiß, ich brauch Mut Am Ende dieser Zeit wird sicher alles gut Doch hier noch länger sitzen, ohne Plan und ohne Ziel Lieber setz ich das Leben meiner Freunde aufs Spiel Eine kleine Party, eine Reise mit der Bahn Ich stecke alle meine Freunde an la, 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 la. müssen ran, kein Spaziergang im Wald Sie müssen jetzt arbeiten, noch kriegen kaum Gehalt Mit Applaus zahlen sie Biete, mit Blumen die Bahn Wer reich ist, hat gut lachen, meine Freunde sind arm Erzieher, Pfleger, Krankenschwester oder Supermarkt System relevant, hast kein Geld und am Arsch Dann gehen wir alle gut essen Nur meine Freunde haben wir dann leider wieder vergessen Sie arbeiten dann weiter für Nappel und ein Ei Soziale Berufe gehen an System vorbei La 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 Now, well, I can tell you now. Oh, oh, oh. I got so many questions I would like to ask you. Hey, yeah. 
Would you listen to me now? And would you listen to what I gotta say? I won't take much of your time. What you looking for? Oh, 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 oh. oh is it love that we're seeking for? Oh, yeah. So why is it still so difficult to spread some love around? Oh, yeah. If you love me, you know that I love you. And if I love you, you should love me too. Uh. So you should stop the hate, stop the fighting. Only love can keep us growing. I are together here. Yeah. What are we waiting for now? Yeah. Hey. Keep the love going. What are we waiting for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep the love, keep the love going. Keep the love go. Get the go go. Keep the love going, merry go round as I keep the love going. Keep the love go, keep the love going, merry go go round, yeah. Yeah, 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 Listen, this life is short, oh yeah, and it's looking for friends, oh yeah. They say Mother Nature is asking, asking us many, many questions. And the Mother Nature is asking us why we are treating each other so poorly. Yeah. And your Mother is Nature is asking why can't we show some love to each other, each other, each other, yeah. Maybe I will try to put my pen on paper, write the love letter to all humanity. Let me all stop this, stop this animosity. All I wanna say is love is a win. Yeah, 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 yeah. All I wanna say that the love is a win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So keep the keep the love going, keep the keep the going, keep the love going, spread it all around ya. Yeah. Keep the love going, keep the keep the going, keep the love going, spread it spread it all around ya. Yeah. All right, that's the end. Yeah, I catch ya. All right. that we are experiencing, which we have never ever seen in our lives. 
A couple of days ago, I received an email from Dreamcatchers and I was like, oh shit, I really wish it was in the reality. But why not doing it in virtual world for Göttingen and the people of Göttingen whom I really love and I have a lot of sweet memories from. So this is my part of the show, which is supposed to be a stand-up comedy. I'm not sure even if it's funny because this is my first time doing virtual comedy and it kind of feels like masturbation i'm self-satisfying myself but i don't get a feedback from other people and i don't know how they feel about it so i'll leave you with that now my topic for today is obviously coronavirus what else could it be you know there are a couple of issues since the outbreak began and the first one is home office we've been you know we are used to being mobile moving going around and now we can't, we have to stay at home and do home office. But it's very, very good actually, because every day you get one or two hours more to sleep, which I love. And as soon as you wake up, you don't really have to, you know, get dressed up because you just have to wear a suit and tie and down there, it could be shorts. But the only problem is that you have Skype videos. So you have to sit in a corner where you masturbate every day and talk to your boss about the new strategies of your office or company or whatsoever. Your mind just can't focus on things. You can't concentrate. You just wander around because you're not supposed to sit there and talk seriously. You're supposed to sit there and do something else. You know, breaking habit is difficult. But the good point is sometimes you don't have a Skype meeting. So people are only on the phone, so you can't see them. And while you're talking about the new strategies, how to get over this situation, you just mute them, take them in your hand, so your boss is in your hand, and you go to the toilet. When they're really into the topic, you start shitting. And when you come out, you're like, yeah, I'm with you, go on. Yeah, I like it, go on. But staying at home after a while, you don't have anything at home to eat, so you have to go shopping. And I've been doing that once a week. Every time I go shopping, there are a couple of Nazis in our neighborhood. So I just go around the bushes, sit there and wait for them. As soon as they come out, I just shout, Hey, go back where you came from. You know, I'm trying to act like them. I've been training like them. And this is my chance to retaliate. You know, I'm caring for their safety. I mean, anyway. Um, when you want to go to a supermarket, you got to get on a bus, U-Bahn, Espan, and you know, you can see that the happiest of people are Muslims, because nobody is scared of them anymore. People are scared of the people who are coughing, not people who shout Allah Akbar and explode themselves. And actually, they like to be exploded in two seconds, rather than getting a virus and dying, you know, in a process of two, three weeks. So they are becoming kind of fashionable, these crazy Muslims, I mean. And then the last thing I want to mention is uh, the way we have stopped shaking hands. You know, when you don't shake hands and it just lasts for a couple of years, then it just goes out of our minds. So the next generation does not even know that you can shake hands without gloves. Just imagine the dates in 30 years. So people would just go to a cafe, order something, eat and drink together. When they go out, they go into the corner of the street in the darkness. They look around so no one is watching and they just shake hands. And when they come back, they're like, oh my God, you can't believe, man. I had a perfect day. And they're like, okay, what happened then? You're like, so we went to the corner of the street no gloves involved, we shook hands. Can you fucking believe that? And that's how they satisfy themselves. So it's gonna be interesting times for us in 30 years. I really, really hope that we survive this and we come out healthy so we can just watch how the next generation reacts to this shit. I wish you all health and I really hope that the sunny days will be better days for us. Take care of yourselves and cheers.